Dear China, you might want to think twice about your Senkaku adventure. Japan has developed a new supersonic stealth missile and it is a nightmare for the Chinese Navy. Relations between China and Japan are deteriorating and Japan is not taking any chances. It is rapidly building its defenses to be ready for any eventuality against the Chinese, with the worst case scenario being war. Amid heightened Chinese aggression in the East China Sea over the Senkaku Islands, Japan has built the ASM-3 anti-ship supersonic stealth missile that can overwhelm Chinese targets. Chinese belligerence in the East and South China Seas has grown unprecedentedly and Japan has sent out a timely message to the PLA Navy with the entry of this deadly stealth missile. Developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industry, the ASM-3 is a supersonic missile that could prove to be a game-changer for Japan to counter the Chinese PLAAF warships. Dubbed as a smashing super missile, the ASM-3 travels five times faster than the speed of sound, making directional enhancements by itself and is almost impossible to detect through radars like a stealth fighter jet. It carries a Sea Buster tandem charge warhead designed to annihilate surface warships and aircraft carriers. A possible war between China will involve the Japanese Navy preventing Chinese battleships from reaching the open Pacific and the ASM-3 with its 200-mile range will help them achieve this goal. Ever since Japan-China tensions escalated, Tokyo has bolstered its military strategy. In March, Japan's bicameral legislature, the National Diet, approved a whopping $46.3 billion defense budget. Historically, Japan does not share a pleasant relationship with Beijing. The embittered grievances of World War II and the territorial disputes have marred Japan-China relations for decades. Most recently, the Japan Times quoted government sources as saying that Japan is now immediately scrambling its fighter jets in response to every Chinese military aircraft taking off from a Chinese airbase in the Fujian province. The report comes amidst rising tensions over the Senkaku Islands, which are claimed by China as the Diaoyu Islands. China claims rights over the Japanese-controlled Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. The island group is situated some 1,931 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. Ever since the coronavirus pandemic gripped the world, Chinese vessels have also been hovering around the disputed Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. China is bullying Japan to give up control over the Senkaku Islands. However, Japan has tightened its grip on the disputed island chain by inserting the Japanese name Senkaku to counter the Chinese name Diaoyu. The Japanese assembly had changed the name of the administrative area containing the Senkaku Islands from Tonoshiro to Tonoshiro Senkaku. A few months back, four Chinese Coast Guard vessels had entered the Japanese waters near the uninhabited Senkaku Islands and started chasing a Japanese fishing boat. But Japan confronted the Chinese vessels and warded them off with a warning. Beijing itself admits having intruded into the Japanese waters and the Chinese Coast Guard had stated that its vessels had patrolled the territorial waters around the Diaoyu Islands. Recently, China violated Japanese waters for a record time of 40 hours. For all these military tensions, there is a growing anti-China sentiment. And the problems don't end here. Tokyo had invested heavily in the Olympic Games, a whopping 12.35 billion US dollars to be precise. But the Wuhan virus crushed Japan's Olympic dream. Miffed by the role of the WHO under Dr. Tedros, the Japanese Deputy Prime Minister went on to say that the World Health Organization might have to change its name to the Chinese Health Organization. Recently, a total of 87 companies also signed up with the Japanese ministry to move manufacturing units out of China, with 57 moving back to Japan and 30 to different other Southeast Asian nations. The message is clear. Hostilities have risen, but Japan will not be scared off by China. The ASM-3 supersonic missile is going to further miss the Chinese, but they will also be reminded to think twice before making another wild maneuver against Japan.